god, it's big just... days here! <laughs> Welcome back, back to Jen's, Jen's channel. channel. <laughs> so you guys, this is a dream come true. I have never ever done Megan's hair. And so we're at Fashion Week. Our schedules are busy, but we were like, you know what, let's find a little bit of time. And she just came over and Mary and I gave her the Mary Phillips special. <laughs> and I gave her these gorgeous glam waves using Wayne Gizu. The end of the story is we actually are just eating french fries. We have nowhere to go. <laughs> See how these icons did my hair and makeup. Wait, let me get a little closer guys. Oh. First of all, look oh. at this hair and then look at this makeup. It's just perfection. Oh. So we're going to show you guys how to get, what do you call this makeup look Mary? Just like monochromatic. Okay, we're going to show you how to get a monochromatic smoky eye and we'll call this like Veronica Lake waves. They're now called Negan waves. Yay! Here we go. Oh my god, I'm nervous. I'm the best hair in the biz. Wait, I'm nervous. This is the first time you're doing my hair. By the way, I never believed when I before I knew you. I was like, there's no way this is her hair. Like, what is A happening here? Wait, what do people do when they do product shots? Is that they put their hand behind it? Yeah. It's not working. Oh wow, it does. <gasps> Your hair is so pretty. I didn't need to like do anything to it, but normally I'd really have to like prep somebody's hair to like make sure it's gonna hold mm -hmm. whatever style I'm doing. How do I make it look better than this? A tip for all you girls out there that don't have this gorgeous hair. I would definitely prep your hair when it's wet out of the shower with Gizu it has an amazing wave spray. And I would put it all over and then use your blow dryer and your round brush. Just flip your head upside down and really brush through it with like, make sure you have a boar bristle brush and get really nice volume before you attempt to do this. And she's just as blessed. And she's like the best client because I don't have to add extensions. My job's easy. My dream, if you guys ever do decide to get married, you have to tell me because I want to do yes. weddings. Yes. That's the only reason to really have a wedding. Wait, do you color your hair? I haven't done it in a while. My mom has to do it, so. My God, I'm nervous doing this. In I don't want your mom to watch this. <laughs> Wait, why isn't it working now? Did I do it wrong? Oh, there we go. Oh, I have a question about hairsprays. Well, I have a question about your heat protectant spray. First of all, I feel like people don't understand what heat protectant spray does. Yeah. I'm obsessed with it because nobody really takes into account how hot your tools get. Yeah. And like, it's so important, especially girls who color their hair, you need to put something on it before you're gonna do this to it. Yeah. You know, the only thing that sucks about this is that I can't see you guys doing it. Wait, what was your question? So usually when artists do my hair, mm -hmm. whenever they use spray on me, it doesn't look good. Do you have any idea how that comes? What the reason is? Well, you have actually fine hair, but a lot of it. Yeah. So you have to be careful. True, that's what my mom said. You have to uh, be careful because it'll basically like take the hairspray and it'll like get really sticky uh -huh. and dry looking. So exactly. what that's I sufficient. do is I go section by section and I spray the hairspray and I do this before I use the hot tools, especially if you're like, have an event or you're gonna be like dancing on stage or if you just have like a really long day, you wanna yeah. make sure that the style lasts. So it's good to prep it, but you have to use, like I love a Mason Pearson brush to just really brush through it and make sure you like get the product and work it out or else yeah. you'll end up with like sticky, weird, like little girl curls. So you won't use it for finishing? I will at the end if I need to. Okay. Yeah, but I like to do it beforehand. So I'm using a three quarter inch barrel iron and it's barely long enough to get your hair in it. You know what you need? They have these amazing long irons in the Middle East called Adil. Uh -huh. And they're like the barrel, cause they have, the girls in the Middle East have such long hair. Yeah. The barrel comes out like another inch. I think we glam you up, we throw a veil on you and you eat a piece of cake <laughs> and we break the internet and just say that you guys eloped. Link in Turning bio. fashion <laughs> Okay, so for the pieces up top, I'm basically wrapping horizontal on the sides, but then up top towards her face so that I can get nice lift. It looks crazy right now because of the hairspray, but I'm basically just setting your curls and making it super tight so that when I brush through it, always go tighter than you think because yeah. you can always like loosen it up and blow dry over it to make it looser, but you can never go back through and make it tighter. Yeah. Oh my God, have you ever wrapped your hair around like cotton? and twisted it no. and slept in it, it like, gives you like disco waves. I do it backstage a lot too, where they'll like, take tin foil and make their own rollers. 
So I'm basically taking the curls. Do you yeah. care about your hair? You're not even worried about your hair. You know you have pretty hair no matter what. I know I'm in good hands and I'm also not worried about my makeup at all. Yeah. Mary and I are always so crazed and we really basically like never really have time to do anything fun. So we happen to have an afternoon pop up and we were like, why don't we have them come in and we'll just like the two spots that we have and we'll do some fun glam. Because I feel like a lot of times like, I don't know, Mary and I have done a couple of videos together, but I feel like whenever we get to do video stuff, it's usually like a thousand people in the room. It's like heavily branded and you just have to like, it's just not as fun. You have so much hair in the back. I feel like for girls doing their own hair, you need to understand yeah. you're never going to get the right angle if you're trying to like get your arm up here and doing it this way. Just split it down the middle and bring the hair forward to do yeah, it. That's I actually, I because I want this to be so gorge, I'm going to split it into three sections. I like to kind of use like a three finger rule. So kind of like deciding how wide my sections are going to be. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to split it into three sections and just start rolling under. Okay. Little tip for everybody who has like curly, you don't have curly roots, but if you have like really curly roots when you're yeah. doing this, take your curling iron and just kind of smooth out the root a little bit and then start your curl. Because if you don't, you're gonna brush this out and you're gonna still see those curly roots. I love doing weddings. I never used to like doing weddings. It's weird. Like, so what changed? I used to never like doing weddings because there was something about the bride the day of. Mm -hmm. Brides can turn into crazy people. Mm -hmm. And like their family gets, it's like the family issues all kind of come up that day and everything just kind of bubbles to like a really tense day. Yeah. I just started doing weddings maybe two years ago. Yeah. And they've all been really, really great and so fun. And like the families are all so nice. I don't know, it's just really different. So, Ma, what are you waiting for? <laughs> <laughs> we actually just covered this topic on YouTube because a lot of people were wondering why we weren't married after being 12 years together. It's funny how everybody assumes that the girl wants to get married and then the guy doesn't mm -hmm. want to. So, everybody felt sad for me. <laughs> Guys. That's so funny. <laughs> That's so funny. I have to say, I was so anti. Why anti? Because I think there's something really romantic about waking up next to somebody that you don't have to be there, that you are just there because you really want to be. And like, I just dreamed of like being like Goldie Hawn and Kurt Russell, where I looked across at Mike in our 60s and like we have kids and everything, but we're just together. Yeah. Like that to me is so romantic. Yeah, yeah. I thought it was just silly and it was like a piece of paper. Yeah. And it was a business transaction and it didn't really mean anything. Mike still to this day like randomly was looking at me like during breakfast and he's like, you're my wife. Aww. You know, like it's like now you're creating your own family and there's something really like adult and amazing about it. Yeah. Mary's engaged. Oh, yeah. that's exciting. It is. Pretty recent. Right. No, it's really. Yeah, September. How? Tell her yeah, the story. Tell the story. It's so good. Um, it was literally we go to Disneyland all the time. We just love Disneyland. We pull yeah. passes and passes. And my favorite ride is The Little Mermaid. Aww. And so he was like, all of a sudden just kind of looked at me. And I had just gotten back from Paris. We were there for, I think we were there for Fashion Week. We were on the ride and he was just like, we had gotten in a fight when I was in Paris. Just a little, like, you know. And I thought that's what he was going to talk to me about. And he was just like, don't you know how much I love you and how special you are to me? And I was like, oh, I love you. And he, he's like, you kept talking like afterwards. He was like, hold on. I was trying to finish and I was like, oh God, okay. Aww. And he was, you know, just like, I love you. You're so special to me and I want you to be my wife. Aww. And I like looked over because it's really dark in there and I saw like something in his hand and. But did you cry? Yeah, I did. And I didn't think I would. Mary, what is your favorite part of doing makeup? Is it the base? Is it the eyes? The lips? The um, contouring, highlighting? What do you love Working with me. Yeah, by, by far, it's <laughs> working with Jen. <laughs> Just Just giving make them, somebody feel good. Yeah, the confidence. Yeah. yeah. But we always wanted to work together more. Like when we were, we were like in our early 20s when we met. So I was an assistant. What was the first job that we did together? I don't even know if we did a job together for a really long time. We just had met from Andy. Yeah, the thing you were holding, you were using for the spray. Yes. I'll Weren't you the one, the first one who started using those? I mean, I had seen it in Snow Magnolias. <laughs> I had seen it in like old hair dressing movies and books. Yeah. And I was like, we have to bring this back. It's so genius. It's so genius, but also nobody wants hairspray in their face. Exactly. So we made these shields that says spray it and slay. No, it just is like. 
courteous to not only like your client but your makeup artist that you work yes. with too because oh, I know people often are like shh and it's like yes. hairspray and it's like oh like or hairspray in your face yeah. like if I were to spray like this notice I like spray away this way yeah. if I were to spray like this Mary would have a mouthful of hairspray I need to let your curls settle for okay. like 10 minutes mm -hmm. so I'll let you guys do your thing okay I'll be right back. And you're gonna entertain, right? Like dancing. and subscribe. Like and subscribe. Oh my god, it's big just... days here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's so beautiful. <laughs> Where's my ring though? Guys, I'm gonna interrupt for one second. This is not sponsored. But do you guys want Shake Shack? Because <gasps> I'm ordering. Shake Shack? Yes. Oh, yeah, Jen. No, he has been talking favorite. about it's Shake Shack. It's so good. <laughs> Isn't it the best? Mary, you're so good. Thanks, Jen. Okay, you're done. Yay! <laughs> Just Glamorous look. Just kidding. Yeah. Megan, I just took your curls out. Yeah. The color's insane. Bravo, mom. Cute. I mean, it's pretty like this. I could just shake it out if we wanted to go for like a curly vibe, but I want to give you like glam brushed out waves. So guys, just so you know, I'm going section by section mm -hmm. and it looks like I'm like completely ruining what I just did, but I'm actually using a Mason Pearson brush. You can also get like knockoffs so you don't have to spend the money on a Mason Pearson because they've never given me one brush ever. <laughs> you can get Sonia Kashuk has a brush that is a target that's great. What I'm doing is brushing at the root to get as much volume as possible. And then what I'm gonna do afterwards is go through and sculpt the waves again. So if you're doing this on your own, again, just bring the hair forward and brush it down. And to make sure that I get every single curl brushed through. Because if you just do it on the surface, you're not gonna really like get in there and get the shape that you need. Hello. But do you use the bronzed Hi. color also as a blush? Yeah. What are we going for, Jen? So it's like 80s, just brushed out. <laughs> it's pretty, right? It's so pretty. It's pretty. <laughs> I'm surprised you do all your makeup yourself, Lori. Yeah, that's why I'm kind of over it. <laughs> <laughs> so I just sprayed some hairspray on a barber's brush. And I like using a barber's brush because it gets the hairs nice and flat and smooth. Because when the hair is smooth, it reflects light better and it makes your hair look shinier and healthier. Jen? Yes. I have a question for you. Yes, Megan. I saw that Lore is coming out with a new product. <gasps> we are. Is it that one? Yes, I just have to learn how to do this right. Why can I not do this? There we go. Hair and body shine mist. Yeah, the diamond. Yeah, and it has like diamond powder in it. So it's very expensive. It's it about so twelve thousand dollars a bottle. <laughs> and so we made it so you can use it. It's light enough to use on your hair, but like good enough to use on your body. So yeah. You can shine like glass from your head to your ass. Aww. <laughs> but I just like using a shine spray because like especially for girls with fine hair. Yeah. I feel like it's really scary to use any sort of shine products because you feel like it'll make your hair greasy. But I always suggest using like Gizu's hair oil. I love too if you're just sitting out in the sun and vacationing. You have to hydrate your hair the way that you hydrate your skin. Now I'm Same. Just basically brushing with a Sheila Stotts brush and I'm just like smoothing out the hair. And here is the part where I'm gonna now go through and start sculpting and using a bang clip to really like keep everything in place. So I'm gonna use a little bit of our new hair and body shine mist. When is it coming out? Yeah, yeah. Comes out on Valentine's Day. Oh my god. So my little trick is I like to kind of brush the hair and hold the bottom and tease up while I'm holding the bottom uh -huh. to get that bend and that shape back, but not losing any body. Mary, if you don't have time <laughs> for me, from now on you have to teach uh -huh. a makeup artist this look. So she can do it full time on me. All right, we're almost finished. I know that you're rushing, you're getting married today, but we're almost done. Okay, now, last but not least, I'm gonna take my cutting comb and I'm actually gonna take my hand and, okay, I'm gonna use a little bit of the Gizu oil and it literally, it feels like honey, it's so nice. 
It's honey infused. It is honey infused. Where can people buy it? We sell online at bizu.com. But it has honey from my dad's bee garden, which whenever you go to Amsterdam, we're gonna show you our bee garden gin. So you know, from now on, I'm gonna need like a hair and makeup artist on this. <laughs> we just created a monster. And we always hire magnetic, so. Okay, so now this is very important. I'm getting the very front pieces. And really setting it in with some hairspray. And now is my chance to go in and like lock in these brushes. This is actually a brush that guys use to brush their beards. Really? But I love it because it just really helps to get the hair nice and glossy and smooth. It's oh. a barber's brush. Gizu hair oil. What about uh, shake hair? <laughs> He's He's We're, shake We're gonna have to do a part in this video, like a drinking game, every time we say Shake Shack. Babe, you're so gorgeous! Is this the end result? I'm pretty much done. I mean, I gotta take this blanket off. I can't even see what I'm doing here. Are you okay? <sighs> For watching, like and subscribe. <laughs> like and subscribe. Like and subscribe for more. We gotta do this again. We promise we'll do this again. Let's do this in Paris and Cannes. Yeah, and let's do it everywhere. I'm so happy Megan we said this cities. on video because now <laughs> I can claim these too. That was a fun video to do. Yeah, it was that really, was really fun. fun. So fun. Shake Shack. <laughs>